All right, what's going on? I'm back at it, showing you guys the last shave. This is the last shave video of the compilation. This is day number nine. The last time I shaved was day number five. I normally shave every two days, but I'm now shaving four days to show you what it looked like when we go past the mark, too, too far past. So if you look now, the hair is growing straight out of the root in some areas, but you can see the way it's growing right now. There's little bitty bumps just starting to form because the buds are now going a little bit too far. And this is the point where we can still control this because number one, they not so deep in that when you do a perpendicular drag, you're going to skip all that out. And these little bitty bumps you see will be gone in the morning. Now I'm going to address one thing. This type of shaving is for everybody at home. It's not just for black brothers. It's for white brothers, black brothers, whoever. The thing about this type of shaving, it benefits everybody, but it does help those who are prone to getting ingrown hairs. And also, anybody can get ingrown hairs. I had customers, Caucasian customers, who had a little bit of a curly hair and they was getting ingrown hairs. It's just that black brothers are prone to getting ingrown hairs because our hair is extra curly. Now that we got that out of the way, the other thing I want to say is keep this in mind that this particular razor, style of razor, these dual action razors, that angle that they come at slide past the hair, which can make you think you got a clean shave, but the hair sits real uh, shallow, low, but then could curl back. So that's why I'm trying to encourage you all that this is not the best style. They Those commercials don't really, they don't believe those commercials. Now, the only other thing is we got to address the elephant in the room. My hair is all cut. Uh, I did a video on it, but I had to cut it because my wife made me cut my hair. And uh, you'll see those videos on cutting my hair right after this video. Now, first thing you want to do is, of course, you always start off with a brand new blade. All right. So we're going to take this brand new blade. We're going to put it in, in here. And you want to always let it sit out about that much. And then the next thing is, you're going to get yourself a little shaving cream. And go in a circular motion. Try to get that hair to sit up. Stand up the mess you can. And if you got those little bitty buds or bumps that's coming in, which I normally wouldn't have had those, but I wanted you to see what happens and how you can control this type of process helps you. And you can control it because we're going to get it out right away. The next thing is we're going to get water hot as you can stand it. And like I told you, this water is really hot. Mm. Then we're going to get that towel right there. Mmm. Oh, that feels real good. Hot towel always feels good. Mm. Get the t get that really hot. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna do this one more time. Yep, squeeze that face and get it really hot. Mm-hmm. Mm All right. One more towel here. Mm. The hotter the better. It opens up the pores, it softens the skin, the hair stretch out a little bit better for you and you just put a little bit of cream right here all right so you're gonna get right here to the mustache pull it pull the skin 
Gonna come right there. Perpendicular drag. Perpendicular drag. Come all the way to the back. And then when you get right here, you put your elbow straight down in front of you, and then you come just like that. Perpendicular drive. And if you're at home and you're thinking this is hard, it's really not that hard. I'm going to show you what to do on your arm to practice. To do a perpendicular drag. You got my head to do it a few times. Pull this good. All right. Now. You're going to get the other side. Cool down a little bit. So we're going to soften that back up. Get that towel nice and hot. Woo. Ooh, that's hot. Woo. Pretty hot. But it's good for me, though. That's really hot and that's good. All right. All right. Now, put your pinky at the back, three fingers in the front, drop the thumb down. Come right here to the mustache. Perpendicular drive. Straight back. Pull the skin. And then just drag and then pull all that hair right out of the roots. Put your elbow in front of you and you come down. Perpendicular to the skin. Perpendicular drag. And then when you get right here, you can drag up. And some of y'all might want to hold your lip and then drag down. Whatever is comfortable for you in that area. And then right here, if you're right handed, you take your chin and you come this way. Or it's as easy as for you. But if you like going left, you come this way. Whatever works for you. And if you're able to do both, that's great. Because then you get, you really can get that hair out of there. And then you go around, you feel around. If you feel any stubble, you just go back and get it. Now, any little bump that was starting to form, the perpendicular drag just yanks that hair right out. And then, of course, if you do have a mustache, you might want to get that. I'll show you how to get the mustache and shape it up. All right. 
right? And with the mustache, you can pick and choose if you want to use the right hand or the left hand. You just do a little drag. And then you come on the end. And then you hit the tip. The edge. That's it. Now, for those at home who are a little scared, just you take and put shaving cream on your arm. And the way you practice, you just take, put it in your hand, like this, and you just come and do a perpendicular drag. Just like that. That's how you practice. You do that, keep practicing, keep practicing, and then at some point, you're going to get good at it. Of course, I got shaving cream all in my nose. All right. Now, the next thing you want to do is, of course, we're going to clean my face, right? Okay, we got to do that. That's just part of the shaving process. But if anybody want to spoof me on having shaving cream in my nose, y'all go ahead. I accept the comments. And if anybody don't like the video, you don't have to like my videos. You don't have to subscribe. I'm not a big person on telling people to subscribe or like, push but like button, subscribe. I don't care about that. But if you do thumbs down my video, give a comment, say something to me. Let me know why you didn't like it. This way I can fix it. I'm I don't mind. So the last thing you want to do though, get yourself some cold water. Cold water and peroxide. And that locks you in. Close the pores. And clean everything up at the same time. Cold water and peroxide. And that'll keep you smooth. Now, you can see the bumps are already going down. The little bumps that we did have all under here, they just gonna fade down, and in the morning they'll be gone because we pulled the hair right out of them. Now, some of you at home. I don't know, but might want to have a, a a line, hairline clean up. I'll just do something real quick. Nothing too major, but, and then we going to talk a little bit about my haircut. I did two haircuts for you guys to see how to cut your hair at home. I did a long haircut. And then, of course, you see this, I did a short haircut. So, pull the skin and just ride right there to the lawn. All right. If you hear anything... I got a large family, I got a lot of kids, and when they, I do videos, they still continue on with their life, and so you may hear them. Like that. Like that.
That ain't gonna be uh, like a perfect line, like like you sitting in the barber chair getting piped out, but at least you can have yourself a clean line. All right. So, as of right now, that's going to conclude the video. Y'all going to let me know what y'all think. And stay tuned, because I'm going to show y'all how to do a taper. And then I'm going to show y'all how to do a short haircut with a special blade that I designed called the Grandmaster Blade. And uh, look forward to seeing you soon. And uh, again, as you can see, we can control these ingrown hairs. And for everybody else who don't get ingrown hairs, you can shave yourself with a straight razor blade and get just as good a shave, if not better. And you know what? Those other dual action blades, they don't work that great, no way. All right. So Y'all take care. Stay smooth. Don't move. All right, this is the first thing in the morning. What's going on, y'all? I just want y'all to see clearly what happened to the bumps the next morning. You see, we had them because I waited too long, but we shaved perpendicular, dragged back. We pulled everything out the pores. Look the next morning. See this? All those bumps you saw yesterday when we were shaving are gone. This video is just to show you that you can control whether you get ingrown hairs or not. But for everybody else, this type of shaving also prevents that afterburn, the razor burn, and ingrown hairs. So remember, this is for everybody, but it benefits all of us differently. All right, y'all take care. Stay smooth. Don't move.